This is 27th problem. Again, similar to what we have done yesterday. And if you take e raised to x common from numerator and denominator, you end up getting e raised to x plus e raised to minus x upon e raised to x minus e raised to minus x dx. And derivative of denominator is numerator. Therefore, the answer is log e raised to x minus e raised to minus x plus e28. I mean, sir. Yes. Sir, upon the uh, n numerator equal to a plus uh, b uh, denominator, the derivative wala ke ke le na. Sir, we can answer it. Hey. Actually, both of them are equivalent. Hmm. Bigger answer than no? answer will differ by constant only. That is what is the theorem we have proved. Both are same. Thoda research kar zara shlok thoda. You will find that both the answers are same. Okay. So at what stage you all are? Are you solving second problem or have you finished second problem? We're solving. Okay, answer for second problem is log one plus tan x. And the third problem is e29, integral 1 upon 1 plus tan x is equal to half x plus log cos x plus sin x. You can put absolute value here plus Good. Now, hmm. I have a few more practice problems. Let us finish them. E so that numbering is correct. Very ekacha parak pad line numbering nothing. Integral one upon three plus two tan x. E thirty one integral one upon one minus cot x dx 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 E thirty two integral sec x cos x divided by log tan x d okay one by one you show me the answer now show me the answer for 30 answers for these are 30, 3 by 13, x plus 2 by 13, log mod 3 cos x plus 2 sin x plus c. 1 upon 1 minus cot x is half x plus Half log sin x minus cos x plus c thirty two log of log of tan x. Okay, let me know if all three are done. Okay, 
these are the answers if you are not finished you can take your time and check whether you get finally this answer or not it is basically on the trick that we have done now so out of the standard integrals that you have seen we have got integrals of three trigonometric ratios and therefore now we should find out the integrals of the remaining three so find integral of tan x we are not giving it as a number because it is not example it is the formula that we are supposed to remember and it is easy integral sin x upon cos x dx if cos x is equal to t then minus sin x dx is equal to dt therefore integral minus integral dt upon which is minus log t which is log cos x uh, plus c which is also equal to log sec x standard similarly integral of tan x uh, cot x log mod sin x find integral cos x okay after waiting few students have already solved it but it can be solved by a couple of methods and i am giving you first hint substitution put tan x by 2 is equal to t now why one should think of this substitution we will discuss later but do at least do correct calculations and try to find out this integral okay if you substitute tan x by 2 is equal to t uh let me few students must have struggled then derivative half sec square x by 2 dx is equal to dt right and if you convert this uh, Square into one plus tan square x by two dx is equal to dt. Then it is half uh, one plus t square uh, dx is equal to dt. So dx can be replaced by dt upon this, and cos x is one upon sine. So integral one upon sine x. dx is equal to integral and when tan x by 2 is equal to t sin x is 2t into 1 plus t square and dx is dx is what 2 dt upon 1 plus t square right so this gets cancelled 2 to gets cancelled it becomes integral dt by t Which is log mod t plus c, and hence the answer for cos x dx is log mod cos x. No, log mod tan x by two. That is method one. Method two. i think you must have tried this but let me show it to you method 2 is equal to integral 1 upon sin x dx is equal to integral 
वन अपॉन टू साइन एक्स बाई टू कॉस एक्स बाई टू डी मैक्स इज इक्वल टू इंटीग्रल सेक स्क्वेर एक्स बाई टू डी एक्स अपॉन सेक स्क्वेर एक्स बाई टू इंटू साइन एक्स बाई टू इंटू कॉस एक्स बाई टू If you simplify this, then sec square goes in the denominator cos. So this is tan sec square x by two one half integral divided by tan x by two dx, which is one half uh, Yeah, I mean this one half will get absorbed here. Better to write it in the integral sign. So this is log mod tan x by two. Again, how do you know, sir, that it is? Uh, because if we know this answer, it is easy to do it like this. Okay. So there is a third way of doing it. Integral. cosec x multiply the numerator and denominator by cosec x minus cot x divided by cosec x minus cot x dx in the numerator you will find that it is cosec x cos x square x minus cos x cot x divided by uh, cos x minus cot x dx and now with minus if you take outside derivative of cos x is cos x cot x and cot x is cos x square x is it true yeah so therefore this integral is log cos x minus cot x again how do you know sir whether to multiply by cos x minus cot x in the numerator and trigonometrically trigonometrically this and this is same right but for all practical purposes i don't have the answer why should we do it it is just because of experience and different trials sometimes trials will work sometimes they will not work but if you are ready to do it several times there is a chance that you will hit at least once and then You came to know these tricks for the first time because you are learning it for the first time. Tan x by two is equal to t is going to be useful to you in many problems. Multiplying and dividing by some quantity in the numerator and denominator converts the given problem into <coughs> a branch of x upon f of x is. eventually you will start seeing these properties and that is what is learning integral calculus all about hence it is interesting so immediately now write down what is integral of seconds are charting karte rahu kontinuously चार्ट मज सुरू कस का मग अभी कंट्रोल तुम्हारे गलता तुम्हें सेटिंग बदल नयन चौहान सर आप यूज डिफरेंट मेथड ओके 
y2 plus half they are those which are pressure sensitive thanks i am not used to reading your chats maybe if you send message to me you can do it on whatsapp couple of methods again here for sec x the easiest is tkp integral cos sec x x plus pi by 2 Is that right? Cosec x plus pi by two is sec x. First part, second part. Right. So you know this is a x plus b, and a is equal to one. Therefore, the answer is log tan log tan. X by two plus pi by four, or you have the answer by our conventional method, multiplying numerator and denominator by sec x plus tan x. You get log mod sec x plus tan x plus. You need to remember both. These are formulae that we are deriving. These are formulae. You have to remember them. And I think trigonometrically these two quantities are same. Okay, so all trigonometric ratios integral is captured. Need to be remembered as a standard formula, and you should look for getting the problem converted into the standard problem. Next, let us solve a couple of more problems where trigonometry are involved. So, what is problem number E thirty three? I is equal to integral dx upon A sin x plus b cos x. Okay, this is a trigonometry problem, not integration problem. And in trigonometry, I think we have dealt with situation like this, where you can write this. expression as sin of something let r is equal to radical a square plus b square so if you multiply and divide by radical a square plus b square then a upon radical a square plus b square and b upon radical a square plus b square can be visualized as sum of sine of some angle and cos of some angle so let tan of alpha is equal to b by a right so alpha is that angle which makes it dx upon A upon radical a square plus b square sine x plus b upon radical a square plus b square cos x integral one upon radical a square plus b square, which is actually r. Then you can write it down as one upon radical a square plus b square integral dx upon sin x plus alpha which is 1 upon radical a square plus b square integral cosec x plus alpha dx and answer for cosec 
we already know and therefore answer for this problem is 1 upon radical a square plus b square log tan mod x by 2 plus alpha that is tan inverse b by a upon 2 complete plus So take it, convert the given problem into the standard formula that we are aware of. E34. I is equal to integral sin x upon radical 1 plus sin x dx. Okay, you can split this integral into parts. Adding 1 and subtracting 1, you get i1 as radical 1 plus x sin x, which we had solved yesterday, minus integral dx upon radical 1 plus sin x. So i1 is this and its answer is this. i2 is this. Again, you take a square root radical. So if we substitute sin square x by 2 plus cos square x by 2 for 1 and 2 sin x by 2 plus x by 2, it is a perfect square we get dx upon sin x by 2 plus cos x by 2 complete the sin x by 2 plus pi by 4 formula here you get cosec which we have derived just now this is the answer for i2 hence i is equal to i1 minus i2 any doubts you can always ask next problem e 35. I is equal to integral dx upon cos x minus a cos x minus b. Correct. Okay. Hint means multiply and divide numerator denominator by sin a minus b. This is constant. Now try your luck from this point on. Okay, let me put a couple of more steps after this and practically solve it. So now numerator inside integral needs to be again adjusted. 1 upon sin a minus b integral sin what x minus b minus x minus a. upon same cos x minus a cos x minus b dx. This is equal to 1 upon sin a minus b integral sin something minus something is sin x minus b cos x minus a minus sin x minus a cos x minus b upon cos x minus a cos x minus b dx. So you will find that something gets cancelled here. This is tan x minus b minus tan x minus a and we know the standard formula for tan which we can use and write down the final answer as 1 upon sin a minus b log either you can write it in terms of sec x minus b upon sec x minus a 
plus okay now we have solved around 35 problems so far it's time to develop some more formulae which we need to remember formula 1 integral dx upon radical a square minus x square substitute x is equal to a sin theta you get the answer sin inverse x by a plus c that is formula number 1 formula number 2 integral dx upon radical x square minus x square find out okay the substitution is x is equal to a sec theta <coughs> so after doing substitution x is equal to a sec theta you reduce the given integral into integral sec theta d theta which is final answer is log mod x plus radical x square plus a square plus c formula this is formula okay third formula is integral dx upon radical x square plus x square find out so the substitution here is obvious substitution is x is equal to a tan theta so if you put x is equal to a a tan theta then you reduce the integral into exactly same sec theta d theta which is equal to log of x plus radical here it should be minus na are i have made mistake x square plus a square here here it is a mistake it should be minus here now it is plus here that is the only difference between the two it is easy to remember x plus radical x square plus a square plus c formula four integral dx upon x square plus a square now radical is gone radical three cases a square minus x square x square where x square is less than or equal to a square here x be bigger i mean x square must be bigger than a square or equal to a square no not possible equal to because denominator will become zero and here x square can be any well, i mean of course it is positive so so these obvious conditions are there because they are inside radical sign and present in the denominator okay now radical is gone dx upon x square plus a square easy find out sir what was the substitution in second problem in second problem substitution was a sec theta is equal to x
if you substitute x is equal to 8 and theta the integral reduces to after doing that sec square theta etc the integral will reduce to 1 upon a integral d theta plus c which is 1 upon a tan inverse x by a plus c formula formula need to be remembered next formula number 5 integral dx upon x square minus a square is equal now it is easy to factorize the denominator and write it like this and then you can separate it so when upon x minus a minus 1 upon x plus a so lcm is x square minus a square x plus a minus x plus a so 1 upon 2a integral dx which is equal to 1 upon 2a integral of this is log a log mod x minus a minus log mod x plus a uh, plus c now essentially here there are couple of cases here if x is greater than a then this is answer or maybe x square minus a square is positive but if x square minus a square is negative that means x is less than a then this is not true i mean you cannot have negative quantity opposite to log so we write one more case the answer is is equal to 1 upon 2a log a minus x x my x plus a upon a minus x plus c if x is less than a cross check whether this is correct i mean you you will be given numerical here number here and you will be asked to find out but it depends what is the value of x that you are considering if you are considering x it is greater than a then this is the formula else if x is less than a this is the formula okay so i has got two formula star 6 last one integral dx upon x radical x square minus a square is it so okay i'll give you 3 minutes to solve this and i will require 3 minutes to write we have 6 minutes left Answer for the last is one upon a second inverse x by a plus c, and all these six formulas need to be remembered. Plus few initial first four trigonometric ratios that we derived those need to be remembered, and all the formulae standard results in the first lecture need to be remembered. Then and then only you will have enough speed for solving integration problems. Any questions? <coughs> 